Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our first recipe that we cook in our brand new Instant Pot. And today's recipe that we would like to share with you is our chicken white bean chili recipe. Uh, it's more of a soup than a chili, but we really, really enjoy it. We originally got this recipe from a clean eating website, but we've done a little bit of tweaking to make it our own and, you know, according to our tastes. So some of the ingredients we're going to be using, we're going to be using two tablespoons of olive oil. 10 ounces of salsa verde. We'll be using two small onions or one large onion chopped. A 16 ounce package of frozen corn. Now you can either use the petite white and golden corn or you can use just the regular sweet corn. That's up to you. We'll also be using two pounds of chicken. We couldn't find a two pound package so we will be freezing some chicken out of this uh, package. We'll be using six green onions or scallions a third cup of freshly chopped cilantro, one and a half tablespoons of cumin, as well as about five cloves of minced garlic. Now you can use fresh garlic or you can be uh, like Christy and I, we take a little bit of a shortcut and use the uh, jarred minced garlic. We will also be using an entire 48 ounce package of chicken broth. And we will be using two cans of Bush's Best cannellini beans. So uh, to saute with the Instant Pot, from the off setting, as you can see, I am going to press the saute button. I'm going to adjust my heat to more. And I'm gonna let it heat up. So I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of olive oil. Now it's telling me that the Instant Pot is actually on. Okay, so now that our Instant Pot is hot and ready to saute, I'm gonna add the two diced small onions. The sizzle means it's working. <laughs> and how did you know it was hot and ready to go? Um, it says hot when it's ready to go on the small yeah. face. That's quite helpful. And as a bonus, I wanted to mention, I think it's really cool, especially as an RVer, but really for anyone, that you can make the whole thing in the same pot. So we're doing our sauteing in the same pot that we're going to cook the soup in. Exactly. It cuts down on dishes, cuts down on your work area. Yeah. Nice for a small kitchen. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to saute these onions. I'm a little bit past a sweat. Once they start to get um, a lot softer and almost transparent, we will go ahead and add the five cloves, uh, five cloves of minced garlic. Um, we'll let that sweat for about a minute, and then we'll go ahead and add the tablespoon and a half of cumin and cook that for an additional minute. Okay, as you can see, our onions are nice and transparent almost. So now we're gonna add the five cloves of garlic. Don't be afraid to use garlic in this dish. Garlic is your friend. I love garlic. I love garlic. We're actually going to let this only cook for about another minute. You don't want to burn the garlic. So anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute is what I suggest. So keep an eye on it. Now we're going to go ahead and add our tablespoon and a half of cumin. We're going to give this a good mix, ensuring that it covers the onions and the garlic very well. So now that we've let these uh, saute with the cumin for only about 30 seconds, we're going to go ahead and Turn the Instant Pot off, <laughs> and it will tell you it's off. And now we start putting all the rest of our ingredients exactly. in to make the soup. Okay, so now I'm going to add the 48 ounces of chicken broth. That'll kind of help cool all this stuff down so it doesn't keep cooking, since we are using the same pot. I already really want to eat this soup. <laughs> now we're going to add the cup and a quarter or 10 ounces of the chili verde or salsa verde. Then we'll add the entire package of corn. 
And next we're gonna add the two pounds of chicken breast or about three full breasts. You can just put them in there whole like that. Yep, just drop them in whole because we're gonna shred those at the end. Next we're gonna add the two cans of cannellini beans. And you don't drain them, do you? I do not drain them. I like the thickness that the uh, that the beans and the juice give to the chili itself. One of the cool things about the Instant Pot is you can use dry beans, but we did not get a chance to buy some yet. We already had this stuff, so we'll try that next time. Okay, so next we're going to add the scallions. As I said, it was six scallions. Um, with the whites, you want to go ahead and finely chop them. And then with the green ends of the onion, you want to go ahead and a little bit more roughly chop them. So we're just going to add this straight into the mix. That's okay. That's why I have a wife. Great. <laughs> okay, next we're going to add the third of cup of roughly chopped cilantro. You can add as much or as little as you like according to taste. So now we're going to give everything a nice stir to make sure that everything is nice and mixed. Look at all those beautiful colors in there whites and yellows and greens and chickens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna actually put the lid on the Instant Pot. And as, I don't know if you can see it in the light here, but there is an arrow here. Yep, I can see it. With arrow pointing this way saying close and open. Mm -hmm. We're gonna line this arrow with the arrow here on the front of the Instant Pot itself. That one's harder to see, there but I can kind of see it. So we're gonna Put it on there and align the arrows. It makes music. It does make music. And there we go. We are ready to go. Now we're just going to go ahead and set everything. So once we ensure the lid is closed and it will let you know it's some wonderful music, we're going to make sure our vent up here is towards ceiling. We are going to pick our program. Today we are going to use soup. We're going to adjust the time. For chicken breast, it only takes 8 to 10 minutes. And then we wait 10 seconds and it should start cooking. You don't have to do anything else? Oh, no, there it goes. All right, I guess pretty soon we'll find out if we have soup. This is exciting. Isn't it, though? It smells wonderful. Yeah, when are they going to invent smell vision Ooh, it looks delicious. So now we just have to shred the chicken, right? Now we just shred the chicken, and it's good to go. Wow. So it really cooked it all the way through in just 10 minutes? It really cooked it all the way through in like 10 minutes. That's crazy. Isn't that insane? Look at this. Those are some really big pieces of chicken, too. Yeah, they are. Look at that. It just falls right apart. Okay, so to make the process a little bit easier, I did take the chicken out of the Instant Pot and shred it on, on my cutting board. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add it back to the soup and let it sit for a couple minutes. It looks amazing. And everything is done. This is like our favorite soup ever, by the way. This is so good.